So you want to join the gold rush of AI, but you have no idea where to get started. I'm going to give you right now five tools that will help you from start to finish to start building your next AI application. Let's get started. Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again one more time. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video if you like this type of content. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the first thing, right? You're going to need some type of framework to help you build your application. And the one that I recommend the most, it's Laravel. Now, why do I recommend Laravel? Well, Laravel basically has an ecosystem that's built for software as a services. Okay. Pretty much you have everything from managing your Stripe subscriptions. You have testing, you have uh, scaffolding with breeze, you have jet stream live wire on the front end, right? You have a uh, social life. You want to integrate like Facebook and Twitter and, you know, login from social media accounts, right? You have inertia to easily connect your backend with your React or Vue applications. You also have Sanctum if you want to set up applications as far as like APIs and again, connect to mobile applications. You have uh, Spark, which allows you to go in and, and launch your next business idea fairly quickly because it provides you with everything like a starter kit for you to start building your applications. Like, I mean, literally this framework provides you with everything for you to go in and start building your MVP by this weekend, right? By the end of the weekend, you should be good again okay? and get started. Now, again, when you're building this type of applications, you want to be one of the first ones to get on the market and you don't want to have to have you know, that pressure of like, which one is the best tool? Which one is the best language? It's like, bro, start building. And the fact that you can also scale with Laravel as you continue to start building more features, you can start bringing more developers and work within your application and makes your life much easier because everyone codes the same, right? It's a convention over configurations. Okay. So again, shout out to everybody who uses Laravel. Trust me. Uh, pretty much if you get into this ecosystem, you're not going to regret it. Okay. Now let's get to the next one. Yes. It's going to be open AI in their API services. And the reason why I recommend for you guys to use open AI services is because you don't have to start building things from scratch. There are situations where you might have to go in and create your own model, but a lot of times you might just need some of the services that they already can provide you with. Like again, chat GPT is one of the most popular models out here, right? Uh, but you can go in and use the chat GPT services, right? GPT four, GPT uh, 3.5, right? Uh, this is all text based, right? Uh, you got some of the base models. You have the image models that they have, right? Dali, you got audio models. So at the end of the day, if you have an idea, you can use their services and start building. You already have Laravel, right? Now you have uh, AI features by using their APIs. And then now you can pretty much start building that idea that you have in your head and the service that you want to provide for others. Okay. Now, once you have access to all of this, guess what? You're going to need some data. And this is where I get to introduce you guys to today's sponsor, Bright Data. So if you guys have never heard of Bright Data, I recommend for you guys to go check them out. Imagine this, right? This is a platform that allows you to go in and get data from different websites and different businesses, right? So they help you with the process of scraping. And if you've ever done web scraping, you know that sometimes there's like a quota. Or sometimes you, you're hitting a website and then you get banned or you get blocked or you get a captcha, et cetera, right? Um, Bright Data helps you bypass all of that, right? You have different proxy networks. So at the end of the day, it's actually a pretty solid application that they have here. But I think for me, the most important thing is that they already provide you with some of the most popular data sets out there as far as, you know, different platforms that you can use. I mean, for example, if we go over here, you can see you got data from e-commerce, social media marketing, right? Uh, you can use it for ad tech, right? Market research, data for good, uh, real estate, healthcare, financial services, uh, travel, right? And I'll show you guys a little preview of how this looks. Okay, so let's say, for example, 
you click over here this is after you sign up for the free trial you get the view data products right you have the different data set marketplaces right again you have a web scraper ide so you could set up uh pretty much uh the way how you want to scrape data from a platform let's say if you wanted to get data from wwe and you wanted to create some type of application that helps people find out who was the best i don't know wrestler or something right or you wanted to find out what's happening in your local government or local taxes and you want to go in and set up this uh, bots to go in and scrape the data, you can use the Web Scraper IDE. But again, they also provide you with data sets from some of the most popular spots. I mean, you got TikTok profiles, Walmart product data sets, uh, LinkedIn people's profiles, LinkedIn company information, uh, Amazon.com, Crunchbase, right? So again, there's so many different uh, data sets that's out here. Again, you can see over here, you got businesses, Crunchbase, Manta, uh, Ventura, Glassdoor, Zing.com, right? You got Google, uh, e-commerce. Let's say you're creating an application that is helping people uh, trying to find the best products to sell on Amazon. Guess what? This right here is providing you with all of that data. Uh, Zalando, Sarah, uh, web motors, ASOS, uh, Chanel.com, Carter's, Ikea, like, yo, <laughs> the amount of platforms that they have here in data sets is, is just crazy. I mean, Toys R Us, okay? <laughs> Hermes, right? Prada, like, yes, they have a lot, okay? And it's built in a way where, you know, any one of us can go in and, and, and use this data to go and train our models to go in and, and basically create the application that we want to create. So again, it's a really good platform for this type of application, especially for AI, where AI is all about the data and what data you actually put in there to get the best results. All right. So I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Bright Data. And again, this is my third tool that I would recommend for you guys. We got Laravel, OpenAI, and Bright Data. Let's move on to the next one. Now, once you got all of your application done, or at least the MVP set up, right? You're gonna wanna have users come in and sign up to your service. And you wanna give them a preview of what the service is or the application is. And one of the tools that I recommend is using Screen Studio. And Screen Studio is basically a screen recording software, but it allows you to go in and have like really nice animations for you to go in and display what the product is. And again, you can see some of the examples in here of how some people are able to show you like examples of the application. This is like a uh, Instagram post that you can show. You also have things like this, where if you're creating a video or an advertisement or even a presentation about your app, you can use this service to go in and create like really good engaging videos. Again, this is used by some of the biggest people in the game. I mean, Peter Levels, if you guys don't know who that is, shout out to him. He's always been killing it as far as creating uh, AI, you know, he has the photo AI website. He also has a, a couple of other applications too when it comes to AI. And he uses this service to be able to demonstrate what the application can actually do. And it works, man. I'm telling you guys right now, like this is one of the best uh, editors out there. And you don't have to be like a video editor or anything. It's like everything is already set up for you and it follows your mouse. And again, it's a great way for you guys to do a presentation on your application. OK, this is something that I definitely recommend because once you have that app, you need to present it in a professional manner, right? Either through advertisement or presentations that you're going to do for future clients that are going to sign up for your service. Guys, in the last tool that I'm going to introduce you guys to is Rockerbox. Now, this is a marketing attribution service. And I'll be honest with you guys, there's just so many different marketing attribution services out there. Um, my advice would be to try a couple of them, see which one fits uh, the one with your business. Again, I'm showing you guys Rockerbox because it's one that I know and I could recommend for people that are into this type of, you know, marketing attribution and is interested in this type of service. Now, you might say, Joe, what is this? I'm a developer. Why should I care about this? Right. Uh, show me the code. Show me the things that I can go in and touch. And I could just click clack on my keyboard, right? But the truth is that 
Once you have the application, you already have the data, you already have your AI service up, right? You already created videos and you're now promoting your service out there. You need to know where are your customers coming from? If you don't have that, then you're not going to know exactly like what's happening with your business. And this is something that a lot of people integrate later on, right? And this is a big mistake. I mean, I could tell you as a business owner and have had, you know, multiple businesses online that this is something I wish I would have done earlier in my career and with my businesses, because I will have so much data on my customers and understand better, you know, how to actually promote my services, how to promote uh, my products that I sell online. Um, and it's the same thing with a software as a service, right? If you don't have that set up there, you're not going to know where your customers is actually coming from. So I'll give you a great example. You're running ads right now on, I don't know, TikTok, right? And you're also running ads on Facebook, but then you also did a podcast. And then from there, you also tweet once in a while on Twitter. And you also have an email list of people and you just go in and email everybody. Now, yes, you're getting customers, people are paying for it, but little did you know that most of your sales were coming from Twitter, right? So if you don't have something like this where you can keep track of where the customers are actually coming from and what's the, you know, what's the way that they get there to the final endpoint, which is, hey, put my credit card down, sign me up, right? If you have no idea how that's happening, then you're not going to be able to make the right decisions. I'll give you a great example. Let's say you're running a Facebook ad and that Facebook ad is showing that people are clicking on it, but they're not converting. Now, if you have a really good uh, marketing attribution service set up and you set it up properly, you can actually tell that, guess what? The person didn't sign up directly through Facebook, but they saw the ad on Facebook, they clicked on it, and then from there, they went to Twitter and followed you, okay? So now that they, they're following you, they click on your profile, then they went from Twitter, and then now from there, they come back to your site. So originally, that ad, even though Facebook put it as maybe it wasn't getting any sales, it's actually the one that's actually helping you to bring customers to your platform to be able to uh, have them sign up. So again, it's, it's a pretty good service, Rockerbox. You can use this service. You can use any other uh, marketing attribution out there. All I wanted to show you guys is that in this part of your journey of building this AI application or this AI software as a service, you need to have these things implemented. And you got to implement it from early on. Don't leave it for last minute. I've seen people that don't even create you know their google tags they don't even set up their facebook pixels or their tiktok pixels or their twitter pixels and then they miss out on that data right they go in and try to implement it a year later or six months later or two years later because they were getting sales but guess what so many people came to your website into your platform that now you can go in retarget them and remind them about your service your ai service that you have but if you don't have this set up you're basically out here blind okay and you're gonna lose a lot of money guys this was five tools okay hopefully you guys learned a lot hopefully you guys enjoy this type of content definitely let me know in the comment section that i open your mind to a couple of different tools which one do you like the most let me know in the comment section guys again guys if you've never tried codingphase.com come try it out man this is what we do at coding phase right we help people get into the tech industry by teaching them how to code but we don't teach you how to code just to learn how to code right we're not trying to teach you to become someone who has a hobby we don't teach coding as a hobby right learn the skills that are actually worth learning and get results this is the platform Okay, we focus on getting jobs, we focus on being able to freelance and also to learning skills that's going to help you build your own business. Okay, either as a software as a service or you setting up your own agency and basically doing web development for companies. Okay, so if you're interested in this, come try this platform out. Also, don't forget to go and check out Bright Data, who is the sponsor of this video. I want to say thank you to them for actually sponsoring this and allowing us to talk about their service because I really like 
what they have here. This is something that we are going to be using on coding phase in, in our platforms. Okay, guys, listen, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Check the links in the description. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe. Peace.